Shelby, thank you. That indeed was hard to hear. Senator Marco Rubio spending the afternoon in Jacksonville where he stopped by our station and he spoke with our Lewis Turner about several local issues and a potential repeal and replace of Obamacare. So let's come to Jacksonville for a minute. So let's talk um, HUD. Uh, there's some video and some sound of you uh, a couple of times visiting Jacksonville a year or two ago uh, at Eureka Gardens and you're fired up talking to a property manager there right. and uh, kind of, I mean, just frankly pissed off about the, the shape of it and, I mean, it, with good reason. Um, I've, I've noticed that you uh, are, are changing some things or at least hoping to change some things within HUD. Now things are done at Eureka Gardens with slumlords. Well, they're that, gone. That's the first thing. A new company's come in. We revisited again earlier this year with Ben Carson. It's not perfect, but there's at least a company now involved that's trying to make it better. They'll be held accountable too, but so far the reports have been positive. There's been systemic reforms to HUD. Uh, we learned from that experience that HUD needs more options in terms of being able to get these people out of these contracts. Uh, we made changes to the law that allow uh, short-term housing vouchers to be made available for residents living under these conditions so they can find another place to go to. When we talk about uh, Mayor Lenny Curry's, Lenny Curry's plan uh, for paid family leave, it's something that you talked about as you were running for president and something that may traditionally not be seen as a Republican ideal. This well, type of thing, but, but I, it's something that you. It's a 21st century reality. Yeah. I mean, if you're out there today, and you make forty-five thousand dollars a year, and you get pregnant, and you have a child, and you have to take three months off or two months off to be with that child early in their life, and you don't get paid those two months, most people making forty-five thousand a year, not all of them, can't afford it. Right. And so, having a child should not be a bankruptcy triggering event. Talking health care, with the skinny repeal, I know you've made comments uh, about it already, but I. I'd just like to hear it just myself. I, I, there is a moment in video when John McCain walks up and, and does the whole thumbs down moment. And you're actually in that video, kind of in the background. And I, and I wanted to know what was going through your head when you saw the thumbs down. Well, we already knew he was going to do it. I mean, it wasn't a surprise. He had told everybody for 30, 40 minutes ahead of time that that's where he was. No, disappointed, not in John necessarily, but at the outcome. Uh, if you look, I mean, I want to be frank, right? We ran as Republicans. One of the reasons. I, I don't know of any senator that didn't run on this promise. Maybe there was one. But I was elected in 2010 on the promise that Obamacare doesn't work, we're going to repeal it, and we're going to replace it with something better. In 2016, I was re-elected on that promise. And, then and to watch this interview again, you can go to our website, firstcoastnews.com.